Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first video I, that I upload to YouTube. This video I'm trying to find the organic chemistry compound, the structure of this organic chemistry compound based on the spectroscopy data given, like IR spectra, mass spectra, CNMR, and hydrogen and NMR spectrum. CNMR is carbon and NMR structure. So first I'd like to apologize if my voice is a bit annoying. I have a, I got a cold the other day and uh, it really sucks. And in, sorry for my English, it's not my first language. So whenever you have this type of question, you want to first try to derive the double bond equivalence or degrees of unsaturation. And the way you find that is by this you do 2n sorry 2n plus 2 minus x divided by 2 where n is number of carbon x is number of hydrogens so now we have 6 carbon here 12 hydrogen here so that would be 2 times 6, 12 plus 14 minus 12, 12 hydrogens, divided by 2, 2, 2, little bit. So we have 1 dBe, or double bond equivalence. It means we have 1 double bond, right? If it was 4, for example, that would most likely be aromatic, which happens a lot. So now, cool, we have our, we have found our double bond. Now we go to IR spectrum. That is my most favorite spectrum, because it's really easy and tells you most, rest of your structure. So from this, I can literally tell you that this is OH bond. And this can be better ketone or carboxylic acid. Now, this is because I know, I'm really, I have done this, this sort of question for like 100 times and I really know how to do this but at first I didn't know so for that I have got this is like bible bible of the chemistry it tells you everything you everything you want for pretty much driving the like what what does this mean so okay I got just gonna tell you so we have this data ketone is 1700 to 1725 so you see, it may be keto, right? Because the same can be aldehyde, because it's far out, and we come down. It may be carboxylic acids, right? Because see, seventeen hundred and seventeen twenty-five, same carboxylic acids, hey, maybe. And actually, carboxylic acid makes more sense because see, it has C O H. OH and C double O, C double O. It makes more sense, but we can't just say it's carboxylic acid because there's an OH one here. It can be a ketone or OH one somewhere else. So we're just gonna say we assume these two structures as the main one. I'm just gonna say from here that this will be carboxylic acid. I'm just gonna tell you why in the from this two. Okay, so then we have mass spectroscopy. I usually do this at the end to just confirm that I got the right structure. Because this will take extra time. To actually, you don't know the structure and you just want to predict it from here. So I'm just going to find my structure, then ensure it with this. Okay. Now, we have what? We have cinema spectrum. Now, I understand that many of you guys that are watching this are mainly first year students. And you don't, for first year undergraduate students, you don't need to know cinema. You just need to know HNMR, mass spectroscopy, and IR spectroscopy. But cinema is really easy, and it's really easy. I mean, I'm just gonna walk you through this because it's really easy and fun. Okay, so we have DEPT CNMR structure. What it is, is it just tells you whether if you have a proton decoupled peak, like this one, if it's pointing up at the EPT as well, then that would be CH3 or CH. 
like this one is whether C H three or C H because C again we have one pick here, one pick there. And again according to this, if it's CH3 or CH pointing up, this is whether CH3 or CH. Okay. Then what do we have? We have one really a small peak, if you can, can see, this doesn't pointing up. So it means it's not it doesn't have any hydrogen wire, it's not CH2 or CH3 or CH. And this again we can refer to the data. This can you guys see it? So we've done CH3, we've done CH2. Ah, C to 30. This is C quaternary. Okay. And what does C quaternary mean? It means it can it just attached to four different environments. It's like that. Doesn't have any hydrogens. Okay, that's awesome. Then what do we also got? We got one part of the couple pointing up and point. The EPT pointing down, it means it's CH2. So, so far we got one CH2, one CH3 CH, and one C quaternary. Yeah. And all right, maybe just talk about carboxylic acid or ketones. Which one should be prioritized? It is this one just sells you its carboxylic acids. Because if you guys can see for ketone, if it was ketone, then that peak would be somewhere like here. But for acids, it's here. So it means ketone is not an option. It's carboxylic acids. So awesome. We have our things here. Now we just go to the last step to just confirm. Alright, awesome. So, alright. Whenever we have these exchanges with D2O, it means it's OH. Okay. And OH usually have one H hydrogen environment. Okay. Next up, we go to this one and this two. Okay. I'm just going to leave from here that this is non H and two H from bias based on my experience because all of this has to add up to hydrogen 12. Why did it say it is two H? Because look, we have one CH2 from here, right? We have one CH2 from here. So that should be 2H. And why this is 9H, this means it is symmetry. It means there are three CH three CH trees like that. This would be 9H, right? So this would be 9H. And guess what? It's close to something we drive from here. What did we get from here? We got one CH3 to CH, okay? And we had one C quaternary, right? And quaternary, as I said, attached to four different parts. This means this is not H, okay? This is all, this is the same CH3 that we have from here. So this will be that fragment. That's 9H. But again, you could just go and measure it from ruler. Takes you a bit of time, but Beginners mainly do that. I did it the first time, but after I got used to it, I just, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to walk you through this one. This will be easy. So, this is 0 0.64 centimeter. Okay. And what was it in this one? This is 0 0.3 centimeter. Okay. So, 0 0.3 centimeter has one H. How much does 0 0.65 centimeter has? Okay, we bring our calculator. The other is 0 0.65. The ratio is that one. So we just say one divided by two. It's pretty close, right? So then it's two H. And once we have one H and two H, one H plus two H will be three H. And we have 12, 12 H E, so it means 12 minus three, nine H. That this one is nine H. So we're right, right? Okay, now we can just bring all the fragments we have together and just predict the structure we just found. This is singlet, right? So it means this is not, doesn't attach to the hydrogen in the neighbor. And this is CH2, same singlet. It means it doesn't attach to anything that has a hydrogen because if it was 
for example, CH3 here, that would be carted. A card would look like that. But this is singlet, it means it attached to something that doesn't have any, really. Doesn't have a hydrogen. Okay. And this is OH, of course. Alright, so we all know carboxylic acid at the end. They're at the end of the structure, right? So okay. We have 360. And I'm just going to here, and we have again 3 CH3, this fragment. And don't worry about TMS, this is just a solvent. You don't need to worry about it. Okay, so we have our fragments here. And how many else do we have? We have one CH2, right? So then, oh, just to space. Too much gap. So I'm just going to see this. this is our CH2. This is our structure. Okay, let's analyze it. This is our fragment from he we had 9H. Again, if you can see, it's not attached to any hydrogen environment. That's why it's singlet. CH2, he. Again, it's not attached to any hydrogen environment, thus it's a singlet. And then we have our double O O H. If you can, this really favors everything we had. So this is a structure we were looking for. For this, oh, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna walk you through this one. Um, so for mass spectroscopy, you wanna. 116 minus 59, that's 57. We have at 59, we lost the fragment that is 57. Now, here you just have to predict what would it be. So 12 times 3. That's a, so did you guys see that? So if we assume this part. No, sorry. If you add up all these three fragments, CH3, CH3, and CH3 plus C, that would give you this structure, which is 59. Because again, I just told you, if you add them up, that would give you 57. And for 57 fragment part, you just do what might subtract some, again, this by. 57 give you 59 this time and if you want to find 59 I'm just going to start from this part 16 plus 1 plus 12 plus 16 plus 12 plus 2 that would give you 59 and this fragment for 57 would be OH O oh I'm sorry so there's OH O this part 57 so this is a way you wanna find it. sorry if I my English was bad and my voice was a bit annoying but this is a structure we're looking for I'm just gonna draw it big here because it just looks cool I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please give it a like, subscribe for more, more videos, and just ask me any questions you have in the comment section. Thank you.